just over 200 staff members here at the University of the West Indies Cave Hill campus just exited a meeting with General Secretary of the Barbados Workers Union, Tony Moore. And topping the agenda was a number of issues affecting workers, including a promised 5% pay increase. But with industrial action looming at the campus following a letter sent to university's management by the Barbados Workers Union, the workers will now get their wish. This was a general meeting and we have to admit that it wasn't a regular general meeting because it was a, a meeting with our workers in a, against a background of strike action that was looming. The Executive Council of the Barbados Workers Union wrote to the university two days ago threatening strike action sanctioned by the Executive Council and giving them the necessary notice of such action because there were a number of issues or there have been a number of issues that we have been discussing um, where decisions, final agreements being reached or decisions towards those agreements were somewhat protracted but there was a specific instance or incident which we considered was the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back. The university responded to us and they were not pleased with our approach naturally to go towards strike action but the situation in question which is very personal to one staff member so I wouldn't want to elaborate on it but that situation was one where the regular channels to go through to go through those it wouldn't make any sense so we needed some other kind of action um, the other issues I spoke about the straw that brought the camels back but the youth staff at the university are entitled to or usually benefit from the same increase that government workers benefit from and as you would be aware government workers public sector workers were given a five percent increase effective April last year. The staff at the university, they have an agreement um, with us. The university has an agreement with the BWU where the agreement is effective on the 1st of August. It means therefore that the staff at the university should have gotten their increase since the 5th of August. So we challenged the university that they, they were not doing enough to ensure that the 5% increase due to the staff could be paid. And one would tend to agree with us that if the payment was being made, or if we are now discussing this 13 months later, that enough was not being done to get the necessary funds coming from the government to make the payments. So for all the issues that we have raised in our letter of two days ago, and uh, those issues that came up yesterday, um, we are happy to say that the university has responded positively on all of those issues. Um, the staff of UB should now get their 5% increase, um, apply to new salaries by next payroll, and back pay has been committed by the 16th of September. So that's in another couple weeks. Um, the other issues, as I said, we have reached agreement on the way forward on those. And I think that the university is well aware that any reneging on the commitments made, that there will be no further warnings that we would be issuing. So with, within that context, the action that was contemplated for tomorrow is no action that has been averted by the university's positive response to all of our demands as outlined in the correspondence two days ago.